Narcisse, having reflected on Tuesday night's game, what were the aspects of the performance which you liked and where do you feel there is need for improvement? The start, the start was very good. So we started on the front foot with a lot of energy against, against a very good side. And yeah, after 15 minutes we are 2-0 up, so of course you cannot dream of a better start. But then after we scored the second goal, um, the game was not really in control. So we, we knew about the, um, how, how well they play, Bristol, they have been under this manager for a long time now, and they exactly know what they want to do. So we knew that was going to be demanding. But yeah, I think that the first half in general, even not being perfect, but you know, the game is the game, championship is so equal and it's, it's difficult against every opponent. So we are tuning up at half time and of course you, you feel about you can win this game. And, and yeah, then when we concede the, um, the first goal, I think we, we, lost, we lost control again. Uh, it happened against Cool City as well and it's something that we have to improve and we have to work on and we are trying to do it. Um, yeah, then the game goes 2-2-2 and I just felt that we could have lost the game at the end. So that's why I tried to protect a little bit the team in order to value the point that we had. Because sometimes in games you do what you can, not what you want. And I think it was one moment that I should protect the, the squad and the team and value the point that we were getting. You know, it's not of course what we want. I just want the three points above all when we play at home. But sometimes the, go, the game goes as it goes. And, and yeah, there are positives, there are negatives, but you know, in the championship, uh, it's so, so hard and every team is really good. So we have to try to value every point that we get, knowing that, of course, I just want more and more than this. You mentioned about control. What are the key qualities required to, to gain more control in matches? Yeah, sometimes you can control the game with the ball, but sometimes you can control the game without the ball. And, and yeah, knowing that Bristol is a, is a team that forces the game inside, that they want to control possession. And usually um, they dominate games by having the ball. They, they came from a, a win against Middlesbrough away. For example, it tells you the story and because it's a difficult place to go and win nil two. So it tells you that they are a good side. But if we couldn't control the ball, we could have defended much better just in our mid block, trying to be robust and solid and then doing fast transitions, which are we are a very good team when we win the ball back and then we can run. But I, I think we didn't do it. We, we talked at half time trying to, to, to now give him problems through the counter attack in, in offensive transitions after winning the ball back with our speed. But, but we couldn't do it. Then we conceded one goal, the other goal too quick. And, and yeah, mentally we were gone. But I think that we managed well the last 20 in order to try to stay on the game and, and get the point that we got at the end. How were the players after the game and how have they responded in the couple of days since? Yeah, it was hard, it was hard after the game, but this, this is something that is, is positive in my opinion because after Norwich game, after Swansea game, the team was with the feel we could have won that with a better, with a better linking game. You know, after winning the ball back higher up the pitch, we had our chances at the end of the three games, you know, because we are in a, good, in a good place from the physical point of view. I think our fitness starts to be good and we are getting chances in the last 10-15 minutes of every game. And, and yeah, a little bit flat, disappointed and all of us were disappointed because we want to win, we want to do so well for the club and all the players and the staff were of course disappointed with how the game went. But yeah, we have to come back, we, we came back, so we had a, um, two meetings to review the game and now we are in a much better place to go and to try to compete against uh, Sheffield United that is going to be a tough, a tough opponent in a way but yeah it's football and we are looking forward to go there tomorrow. You mentioned fitness and physicality there, how do you manage the squad in what is such an intense period of fixtures by the time of the next international break this block will have comprised of seven matches in, in 21 days? Yeah, it's, it's a tough period in the championship uh, now until the next international break, uh, three, three days game, three days game. So, yeah, I think we need to, to manage and we have to give, we need to give opportunity to all of our players. This uh, cup game is coming against Southampton as well, for example, and the club has done well in the other two rounds, playing young, young players, giving an opportunity to them to play. So this is what I have in mind as well. So I want just to rotate the squad and give a chance to these young players and another players that they have not been playing for, for me since I came because it just have been five weeks since I have been in the club. 
So I just want to give an opportunity to all of them and uh, take advantage as well to rotate the squad a little bit because I think it's important. Because if not, then you, you can be in trouble with injuries and not giving chances to all the players that you can have. Everyone deserves a chance to be, to be seen. Of course, you have a few injuries in the squad as well. How has Wouter Berger recovered this week? Is he, is he close for Saturday? Yeah, we're trying to get him ready for tomorrow. Uh, we need to, to, to see how, how it goes with him. He's not going to train with the, with, um, with the team today, so he's going to do his individual part. So we will see what happens after this. We'll make a decision. Um, it's not ideal, but he could be involved, he could not. But if not, we'll play another player. The Championship will be a quarter of the season old after Saturday's game. What have you made of the division so far this season and what do you believe is required to be successful in the division? Very equal, very equal. Usually it's like this in the Championship in the five years that I have been here. Um, but I am in a good position to say, now that I have seen 80% of the teams, uh, that it's going to be a very equal Championship. So. Winning two games, you could be in a great position to to be in the in close to the to the, the first ten positions, let's say. But losing two games, you could be very close to be in the relegation fight. I think it's going to be very equal the, the whole season because there are lots of teams more or less in the same level. So it's going to be very important to be together, to create good energy, to to have not just eleven players, to have 16, 17, 18 players involved that they can perform. This is going to be so important this season, and, and yeah, I expect a tough, a tough, a tough season. It's going to be very equal, um, yeah, but exciting at the same time. We had to Bramall Lane on Saturday for what will be Sheffield United's first home match since the terribly sad news of George Baldock's passing. Uh, it will no doubt be an emotional afternoon. Is George somebody you came up against during your time coaching in England? Yeah, I know him. I know him very well because I played against him, I think, in four occasions. And yeah, 21, 22, uh, with Huddersfield, and we went there and we won the game in the last minute. Such a difficult game, but we won. Uh, he played that game, and, and then 22, 23 as well. You know, such a good player, right back, uh, very professional. It's just terrible news what has happened, and it's a good opportunity for me as well to send to send my love and our love as a as a Stoke um, family to the Sheffield United family and to his family. Um, it's terrible what happened, but yeah, we'll try to pay our tribute as well on, on Saturday and, and go there and show our respect and love for the family and for Sheffield United. Sheffield United are currently fifth in the Championship following their relegation from the Premier League. What sort of challenge do you believe they present us on Saturday? Yes, it's a very good side coming from the Premier League. Uh, lots of good players, experienced players as well, experienced coach. Um, I think it's going to be a, a tough, a tough test for us. But it's a football game, you know, and it's going to be tough. But we can compete. We are going to compete, and we are going to make uh, things as awkward as we can for them. And, and yeah, I just believe in my team. So I'm looking forward to go tomorrow and see where we are at. It has been just five weeks now since I started this job, so I didn't have much time. But yeah, I think that we are in a in a good place. We are in the right path, trying to work in all this connection that we want between the staff, fans, players, trying to create one clear style of play. So I think that we we have seen already what we want to do, which is very positive in just five weeks, which is usually difficult to, to implement in such a short period of time. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, 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 I'm committed, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to, to keep working with these players and of course to go tomorrow in probably the, the biggest the biggest test that we were going to have so far. And behind you there will be almost 3,000 Stoke City supporters in the away end at Bramall Lane. You mentioned you've been here for five weeks. What have you made of the support that you've received during that time? Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just beautiful to see. No? I received a lot of support, to be honest. Support that I feel I don't deserve. And I, I'm very grateful, very grateful because they have been exceptional to me. and. And, and yeah, now we have been four, four games unbeaten, which is very positive. We won one game just, but the love and the, and the support that they are giving me, not just in the stadium as well, when I am in Stoke, is, is, is really nice to see. And I feel that I don't deserve but 3,000 fans coming to Sheffield, hopefully, and I wish we can give them something to cheer about. And 
yeah, we'll need to fight for them.